Hi, my name is Wes. I'm one of the life support system coordinators here at the Minnesota Zoo, and I'm going to take you through our uh, sea otter life support system here, tell you a little bit about how we keep the animals healthy and safe in a, uh, an environment that's as close to their natural envi environment as possible, uh, and what it takes to uh, be a life support operator just in general here at the zoo. This entire building exists just to house the life support for the 60,000 gallon sea otter exhibit that we have here on site. Uh, and the bear pool, the Russia's Grizzly Coast bear pool. So this entire building is dedicated to just those two exhibits. Um, one of the main things that we have in here, uh, as I mentioned, is our sand filters for our otter pool. Um, each exhibit here at the zoo uh, has three primary forms of filtration utilized. Uh, sea otter is just like every other one. Uh, our first and main type of filtration is our mechanical filtration. Uh, each one of these gray vessels you see here is full of sand. Uh, the sand acts as a filter media for us to force water through, uh, and that sand traps any waste or any unwanted particles that's in the water, uh, and the water comes out the bottom of these filters clear. Uh, there is approximately 5,000 pounds of media in each one of these filters. Uh, the water goes in the top and comes out the bottom. Uh, as I mentioned, the water is clear when it comes out. It is not quite clean yet, because we do have to utilize two other types of filtration to clean the water. As the water leaves them, uh, it goes back up into some plumbing and it gets separated out into our other forms of filtration. A little bit of that water is sanitized with our ozone. Uh, we don't want to sanitize all of it because we want some of the beneficial bacteria that exist naturally in the water and naturally in the environment to help us clean the water as well. Uh, inside this cabinet, we have three ozone cells. So each one of these three cells here is taking very dry, compressed air. Uh, it's so dry that the dew point is about 160 degrees below zero, so it's very cold. Uh, as the air is passed through this tube, we introduce a 5,000 volt electrical current to it, and that electricity breaks up the molecules in the air, and some magic happens, and out the other side comes ozone which is a very, very, very strong oxidizing gas. Uh, it comes out in these stainless steel tubes and it goes over to a contact tower where that ozone is mixed with a little bit of water and sanitized. And then our third type of filtration is that biological filtration. Uh, the nitrogen cycle is something that happens and it exists naturally in every environment, uh, aquatic environment rather, and we utilize that nitrogen cycle to consume some of the waste that comes out of the animals. Uh, these two large towers that are back behind here. Um, the one on the left is where we contact our ozone with our system water. As soon as it's contacted with ozone, that water is very, very uh, hot. So there's a lot of oxidation reduction potential in that water, uh, not hot temperature wise. So to get rid of some of the excess ozone that's in the water, it travels through a trickle filter. Uh, this filter is full of a media that's like really big, uh, snowflake looking balls of plastic. And as the water flows through that, any gases that are dissolved inside the water get broken out and vented through the top. Uh, so any excess ozone goes out of the top of the vessel. It travels through some very uh, oxidant uh, resistant plumbing and it travels down behind us here into a destruct unit. So this destruct unit here is full of a catalyst that will take the ozone that's not used. We send it through the heated catalyst. That catalyst destroys any extra ozone. And then we just pump it back out the door and it's basically just air at that point. You wanna go downstairs and see where the water comes in? But the water comes in from one of the three sea otter main pools, either the back holding pools, a medical pool, or the main systems, the bigger pipe over on the right there. It travels through some stainless steel strainers that catch any large bits of waste, like otter fur or uneaten crab shells or shrimp cases. Um, those types of things are trapped inside this basket. And then the water travels into one of our fiberglass pumps. So the water comes out through the pump, goes upstairs into the filters, travels through our heat exchangers where we maintain the temperature of the pool, and then it goes back to the exhibit cleaned and sanitized and ready to come back through again.